Welcome to Daily Devotions with John Dyer. We're doing a series looking at what it means to be in Christ. Today we're going to see that in Christ we are united with other believers. Our key verse today is taken from Matthew chapter 12 verses 49 and 50. It says, look, these are my mother and brothers. Anyone who does the will of my father in heaven is my brothers and sisters and mother. We all know the expression, you can choose your friends but you can't choose your family. What we mean is that regardless of the differences we are united because we are members of the same family. Getting along with each other is probably as much of an issue for the original 12 disciples as it is for us today. Under normal circumstances, the disciples should never have been in the same group. Simon, one of Jesus' disciples, was a zealot. See Luke 6, 15 and Acts 1, 13. The name itself describes someone who is filled with zeal and is prepared to fight for what he believes in. The zealots were different to any other group at Jesus' time. The Pharisees believed that it was God's will for them to live in the culture that God had placed them, but to remain pure, resisting temptation and trial of the age. The Sadducees sought the good life and power in prominent positions. The zealots, however, confronted opposition head on. Today we would probably call them extremists. They were ready to take their fight to anybody who opposed them. The Romans described them as bandits and on occasion even terrorists. Then there was Matthew, the tax collector. Tax collectors have never been the most popular people. When was the last time you heard somebody excited to receive a visit from a taxman? Sorry if you're a taxman. In Jesus' day, the Jews despised tax collectors because they worked for the enemy, Rome. If that was not enough reason to hate them, the fact that tax collectors would often overcharge their fellow Jews and pocket the difference they made, that just made matters worse. They were not only considered to be traitors, but also thieves. Within Jewish society, no two groups resented each other more than the tax collectors and the zealots. Yet, Jesus chose both of them. We would probably have been afraid that these two would have killed each other, or at the very least want to avoid the hassle of the ongoing conflict. Yet, Jesus knew that the love of God was more than powerful and is more powerful than the hatred of men. The fact that Jesus appointed two men of such incompatible worldviews demonstrates to us the power of God to unite us in Christ. Let's pray together. Our Father, we just thank you that we've been united in you, part of your body. Father, we thank you that you've given us brothers and sisters in Christ. Father, help us to show our love one for another. Help us to be united in you. Help our unity be clear to the world that looks on to us. Lord, for those people maybe we don't get on with so easy, those um, issues we have, maybe we carry for some long time. Lord, we hand them over to you. We trust you again because we know that your love is more than powerful enough to unite us. Lord, with our love for you, help us love one another even more, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen.